take a look at this gorgeous, stunning background view behind me. I'm Christina Zachary with the Zachary team with Phyllis Brown and Company. Gabriel and I are here to show you today a luxury, beautiful, gorgeous home here in Helotus, Texas, just west of San Antonio. And it's so stunning, you guys, I cannot even imagine. And we're joined by our special guest today, Mylene Mendes. She's a realtor also with Phyllis Brown and Company. She has wonderful energy and I can't wait to show you guys today. So like I said, I'm Christina Zachary and my husband Gabriel, as always, is behind the camera. Everybody say hi to Gabriel. And Gabriel and I, on our channel, we have our podcast and we show you luxury homes. So take a look and subscribe. So we want to check this one out today. Let's go say hi to Mylene. So excited. Hi, Mylene. Hi, Christina. Welcome home. Oh, thank you. I already feel at home. So tell me a little bit about it now that I'm home. Oh, this is a magnificent uh, Mediterranean home. Okay. With a little bit of a modern twist inside. All right. It's five bedrooms, four and a half bath. Okay. Uh, 5,025 square feet of home. Okay, so we got a lot of home to look at. We do. Okay, so coming into this entrance, I love the, the grandiose of it. What room are we in? And tell me a little bit about it. Well, this, I will call it the formal living room. Okay. Completely separate from your formal dining room yeah. and your kitchen, family, everything else in the back of the home. Okay, and I love how there's just this beautiful fireplace here and the honeycomb background is just super, super cute. And I mean, I just keep looking up, but I love the chandelier. It is, isn't it beautiful? So, and that ceiling. I was actually just about to say that the cute little coffered ceiling is so adorable. And I love a home with tons of natural light. So the moment I'm greeted with it, it's just breathtaking in my opinion. It is. I want to head over here. Okay. So what's going on over here? Okay. So here. we just did the formal living room. Formal living room. Okay. And then you come into your formal dining room. I love a formal dining room. I think it's perfect for holidays. Very nice for entertaining. You have your beautiful views on that side. Okay. And then if we continue down this path, you're gonna have the half bath for your guests when I you're mean, entertaining. I love the tile. It kind of, I know we have the modern touches in here, but that's just a touch of to, to like that Mediterranean style that they were going for on the outside. Absolutely. Here you have the laundry room and here you have a couple of entrances. You have the one towards the garage okay. and one that actually can take you to the side of the house. Perfect. And you know what? I just have to come point these out. These are so cute little coat hangers. Are they? Yes. I think they're so adorable. And I love how all of them is different. So it's, or there's like three different ones. So it's just kind of like a little bit of variety, a little bit of cuteness. So a little bit about the garage. I think it's a three car garage, correct? It, yes, the garage is a three car garage. You have a water softener. You have a very large water heater. Okay. There is some storage, extra storage under the stairs. Okay. So you have to go into the garage. It has a side entrance and I love that on the home. So you see the windows in the front. It's very large, very pretty and a lot of natural lighting. Perfect, well I think storage is key, especially when you have a home this big with five bedrooms. Absolutely. And speaking of space, I really wanna check out this room. This is massive. It is. So Isn't what can beautiful? we use this? It's so huge, what can we use it for? Well, I will say this is a flex room. You can actually have it as a, mother-in-law suite or a you know or a game a room game room i would even say like because they have the curtain rods already put some curtains up like blackout curtains and make it a media room that too you can also make it a media room i can imagine a pool table too but what else do we have connected to it because it's not just all of this well you have in here a full bathroom okay okay and in addition to the full bathroom you actually have a closet perfect and i know that closet has a good space to it, it does as well. have a good space um, you do have this little kitchenette in here, so I guess you can add 
a little refrigerator and, yeah. and have something going I was on. thinking wine fridge and ladies nights. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so instead of being, you know, a man cave, it can be a girl's cave. Exactly, a she cave. You know what? You could turn it into a dance studio or an art studio. I oh, love that this is right. space. I think it just has endless options. So it I does. think this is perfect. Or if you just have kids who come and visit, Absolutely. Just stick them all over here and just stay over there. And even a beautiful office with those windows. I know. And the view. I love it. Well, I do want to show off the closet space because it looks pretty huge. So if this is a game room, tons of storage can fit in there. Tons of space. I think if it's an office and you need some of that extra bandwidth or whatever the technology talk is, you could also <laughs> fit it in here too. <laughs> and have it completely enclosed. <laughs> yes. So this is the left side of the home. We, we didn't see the kitchen, but we're gonna see that last because it's beautiful and stunning. Mm -hmm. But I wanna head to the right wing of the home. So what's over there? On the right side of the home, you're gonna have the main suite, which is absolutely stunning. Okay. You also have an office and then the beautiful stairs case taking you up to the second floor. I'm so excited. Beautiful spiral staircase. What would we call this corner? I don't know, probably like the holiday corner to That's have some type idea. of decoration as different holidays throughout the year will come by. Yeah, you could put like pumpkins over here, have an Easter theme, Halloween, Christmas theme, like a, have mm -hmm. just five Christmas trees. Absolutely, <laughs> with all the themes. And I love this designated office space. It is. And I think if you wanted to, we could add a closet. And you could potentially make this a six bedroom. A six bedroom, correct. Okay, perfect. And I love how it faces out to the, to the, to the pool. To the pool. But Stay we're not there yet. Video. Stay till the end to watch it. And if you haven't already, subscribe and like and comment below. Now, I like this co closet here. I think it's just every house needs a closet. Space. Plenty of space in the house we for were, you to store. We were talking about storage, storage, storage. And I think this is so adorable because there's one here and there's one, one over there, but this little wall niche. 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 <laughs> okay, now we're coming to one of the most beautiful, stunning parts of the home, which is the master. And this primary is huge. It is. I love the size. I love how it faces the backyard, kind of has the bay windows. It opens up to the, 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 the pool. pool. I'm taking over your job. Let's talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. You're doing great. Uh, I'm really excited about the primary. It's super adorable. It is very comfortable. It is uh, large. I love the fact that it has the door for you to go out and have some privacy in the evening while you have the children upstairs. Yeah. So that's or you just put them over there in the, the room. Oh, okay. I don't even want to hear them. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, so cute French doors. I always have to do this every video. <laughs> And this bathroom is worthy of that sort of entrance. I Absolutely. love this closet. And I love the mood lighting they put in it. And the that colors. makes all the difference. Yes, it does. And I love the consistency of the colors. This color is just throughout the whole entire interior of the home with the crown molding, the shelving, the paint. And then of course we have the water closet and I love how the size is because you know, some of those get small. Some of those are spacious. Tiny. You can actually add some shelving, have something really nice and space, decorative in space, there. Space, space, space. Space. Now this is like, can, can we just cut and just stay here for a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely stunning. The view from that uh, tub is amazing. You have a very nice size shower it's, in it's, here. It's large. And it I love how large. the floor to ceiling kind of backsplash what they have going on here. Just adds to the just beautiful charmingness of this bathroom. Of the home. Now let uh -huh. me show you a little secret. Okay. You have your own door and you have your own little balcony here. <gasps> perfect, perfect. So oh, you wow. Can come outside and enjoy yourself. Exactly. And you know, I love how it has its own little balcony just connected to the bathroom. So it's just even further away for that. You just need seclusion. You need just privacy. I love it here. This is amazing. Nice ba breakfast or wine in the evening. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And this is a large, large tub. Even Gabriel, as you guys said hi to him earlier, my husband's six foot one, and he would have fit comfortably in this tub. And yeah. you can't say that about many tubs. And I love the dual sink, so his and her vanities. And I like mm -hmm. how it kind of is like in a caddy corner. Yes. It's kind of adorable. Yes. It's really cute. Now, where are we going next? We are gonna go to the second floor. 
Okay, so perfect. So we can see the rest of the house, okay. the other bedrooms. All right, well, I'm excited because I want to hurry up and get to the pool. So cool how there's little parts of the home that could easily go unnoticed, but I don't want this part to go unnoticed. Beautiful chandelier, and I love how there's like a dome shape. So mm -hmm. walking throughout the home, there's a lot of curves and there's a lot of lines, and I think it adds so much dimension to the home. It does, and all, especially with the lighting coming through. Yes, and the spiral staircase. We were just talking about how if it's like prom or if there's a wedding here, if you have family, someone can just be walking down and the pictures would be stunning. Amazing. Yes. And there's another wall niche right here. And with a, a generous size closet. Generous size closet. <laughs> And More what about space. this bedroom? So this is like uh, another master suite. You actually have a balcony to go out and overlooking the pool. You also have your whole walk-in closet and a complete bathroom. Perfect. And it's a good, generous size it is uh, very balcony nice size. as well. It's mm -hmm. a little bit bigger than the one downstairs, but mm -hmm. it's a really good size. Now, again, another spot of the home that just deserves some recognition. It's just, you know, like it's like, it's funny because you make an entrance on the first floor of the home, but this is like its own entrance of itself. Be like, excuse me, darling, I am coming down soon to join the party, sorry I'm late, or like fashionably late or something. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> out of this small living room in here. Yes, it's very nice. And I love, again, the curvature, dimensions, and now that we have a better look at the chandelier, I just love it, and you, you know what, we completely missed these like indentions and the coffered ceiling just, right the I just love being here. I think this would be one of my favorite parts of the home. Honestly, I would just, it is. Like, a, like a reading nook. That's what, exactly what it could be, yes. You know, I just, I personally I'm love this home already. Yes. I'm ready, put it up her. <laughs> <laughs> so coming this way. Yes, we have two bedrooms in here. Okay. One towards the front of the house. Okay. okay, and then um, they have a nice size closet as well. And you have a Jack and Jill that connect the two bedrooms on this side of the home. Yes, that's perfect. So it's perfect for kids who are growing up, school age children, beautiful bay windows, still continuing with that ton of natural light. And I love here, because kids take up a lot of space. They have a they lot of do. stuff. So I like how the closet's here, but there's so many lower cabinets and some upper cabinets and drawers. So. Absolutely and a walk-in shower perfect i think it's just you know self-sufficient for children to just stay on this side of the home here and there mm -hmm. and when they need to and coming this way this is the last of the bedrooms the last one of the bedrooms yes mm -hmm. and i love how it has a closet there but it also has its own balcony it does another bedroom that has its own balcony so checking out this spot the landscaping is cute because we do have that wrought iron fence around but that's not the whole land is it? it it's not they just fenced in the yard because of they had children so they okay. wanted to fence in the pool area okay but the lot actually goes a little bit farther out. oh perfect and also mm -hmm. if it's perfect if you have pets too absolutely mm -hmm. now i feel like helotus is in a great spot it's a little bit west of san antonio but really not far we're like we're we're connected we we're are. connected so let's talk about restaurants and really cool things to do over here so i'm going to name a few off first okay. we do have fiesta texas we do have fiesta we're also texas. not that far from sea world we're so they're amusement SeaWorld. parks with a bunch of roller coasters yes. a few of our favorite restaurants are crepuccino they have savory and sweet uh, crepes there oh. uh we did mention Prazal, the steakhouse That's so good it's so good what about you oh i love whiskey cake because we're very close mm. to la cantera and to one. the rim yep Yes, so they have whiskey cake, what is BJ's for everybody who likes to have their beer dinners. That's true. And also, if we're talking about Lock and Terra and the Rim, there's so much entertainment. There's a movie theater, there's a bowling alley, there's different types of bars, so many delicious yes. and a huge variety of restaurants too. And nightlife. They have nightlife over the weekend. Exactly. So if you don't want to head downtown, you just head up there, what, like 15 minutes? Yep, just about. And you know, all this talk about food made me hungry. I think we've missed a key part to the home. Yes, the kitchen. Okay. <laughs> oh, I think we should go to the kitchen. Okay, so this kitchen, I feel like we could just spend 30 minutes talking on it. Okay, so the first thing that I noticed, of course we noticed the fixtures and they're stunning and gorgeous, but this is such a cool sink. I don't see many copper sinks anywhere. I've never seen a copper sink. That's <laughs> Beautiful. And I, <laughs> and I love the design. And I love how it's near the double ovens. Yes. So you're cooking and all this other stuff. And you have, I feel like everything's within, um, within right distance. Yeah. For each other. So you don't have to be going for it. That's, you know, you have the microwave and then you have the dishwasher on this yes. side. Yes. All the appliances are new. Okay, perfect. And, and I love the amount of upper cabinet space. 
yes. just tons of cabinets. I feel like the fridge would be in a great location too. And the lights, the lights. they're so adorable. And we I, do have a decent pantry space because it, the pantry for this size home, you need a big pantry size. So, but I think we should go in just to show you guys the size of it. It's, it's a very nice size. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Yes, so I love in there. how there's just a ton. Babe, are you following me? Come oh. on in. <laughs> Welcome to my home. <laughs> I love the amount of shelving space. And I like how they're just solid and firm. Because you know how sometimes they have the wiring? Yes. Um, mm -hmm. Shelving in there. So I just think that's really unique. It can just hold a lot of weight. Mm -hmm. Okay, so as we're walking into here, it's huge. It is. Tell us a little bit about the space. Well, this is, I will call it your, you know, eating kitchen with a family room all together so you can enjoy your company yes and you have big parties in here so i will actually have a dinette set in here nice perfect with tvs and then you also have your outdoor right from here so you have the pool and you can watch whoever is playing out there and enjoy the whole area exactly i love the built-ins i can just imagine the books or the little trinkets that you could mm -hmm. have in there and the pictures and just this with the tv right above it it's so inviting absolutely so you go from your reading nook down to here and then you fall asleep huh. now i think we need to just we can't avoid it anymore exactly. we need to head to the backyard yes oh my gosh you know in texas we love summertime i know it gets hot but when you have fans above there just like that mm -hmm. it's perfect so this is a great space um tell me a little bit about it well you can actually have your barbecue here and enjoy yourself you know i will have some rocking chairs so i, I can be too. watching over the pool a it's, little fire grill exactly and just oh i think we just need to take it in for a moment the pool the pool the pool how deep is it and tell me a little bit about it so the pool has that little tub in there, uh, the jacuzzi, mm -hmm. and then you actually go, it's three on the corners and then it goes down to six feet. So oh, great. really pretty and relaxing. And I love how this is just screaming and it's just ready. Like I need parties out here. I need, I just need fiestas out here. So you can have so much outdoor furniture. And what do you, what do you picture up there? Ah, oh, more rocking yeah. chairs. <laughs> <laughs> yes, rocking chairs. Oh, I you well, know it all depends if you have the children you have plenty of toys, right? For oh, them absolutely. to actually come in and play. So, and I couldn't already imagine my kids, and I'm pretty sure you can imagine your kids if they were younger or even now, uh -huh. even adults, oh they were God. just going up and down the stairs just jumping off. Exactly. Jumping yep. into the pool. Yep. I think this is perfect. Well, Mylene, I think we've kind of reached to the end of our tour. Um Kind of let's reiterate the bedrooms, bathrooms, square footage of the home. So the house is uh, 5,025 square feet. It is four bedrooms, five bedrooms, I'm sorry. Yeah, five you're good. bedrooms, four and a half bath. Okay. And you have your former living room, your dining room, and of course your beautiful outdoors. I think the neighborhood's pretty cool to be in as well. Tell us a little about the amenities that the neighborhood comes with. Sure. So they have a pool. Okay. They have basketball court. They have tennis court. They actually have a little guest house that you can actually rent to have activities in okay. there. Jogging trails as well. Okay. Uh, and it's a gated community. All right. So perfect. So it's a great little neighborhood and a great little spot. And if they have any other questions, Mylene, take it away. How do we reach you? You guys can actually call me or text me at 407-733-0309. Thank you so much, Mylene. And My as pleasure. Well. <laughs> I'm Christina Zachary with the Zachary Team, brokered by Phyllis Brown & Company. Y'all know if you want to buy, sell, or invest in San Antonio as well, you can get in touch with us too, 210-504-5301. Mylene, I am indebted to you. Thank you so much for allowing us the opportunity to showcase this beautiful home on our, on our YouTube channel. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you guys have any questions, get in touch with Mylene or you can get in touch with us. Please subscribe, it helps, and comment below, and we will see you guys on the next one. Thank you guys so much. Bye. Thank you. <laughs>